Mm. Hi, everybody. Not sure if anybody's here yet, but... Hi! How's it going? I just spammed all the discords. Stay up there? Why is that flipped over? <laughs> Did something just go flying across my screen or am I losing my mind? Losing my mind. That's fine. Hopefully, I just dropped something. I don't know what I showed you guys and gals that I've already done. So, we're gonna do a little, little recap, if you will. <coughs> Um, but first I think I need to make this go here, and this maybe cheat a little bit, alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So I've already shown you oof, the Welsh puppy that I did uh, last July. Don't mind me, just breaking stuff. Then we have Bismuth that we did on the 10th. Is that really 20 days ago? Good lord. Where has the time gone? And then there's the Swiss Shard that I did in August. Swiss Shard. Kind of looks a little creepy to me right now that I look at it, but whatever. Then we have our Sunflower Entry, which it looks a lot more green on stream than it is in real life. Hold on, let's try this. Yeah, that looks more yellow. Ta-da! And then, so I did this. I don't remember when I did, I did this November 25th. I don't remember when I did this. But, whatever, there it is. Food, food. Then, don't fall over. We have our squid, which I did on the 24th, and I'm, I love the squid, I think he is a very good squid. Um, these flowers, I don't know even know what they are, just an experiment in what watercolor will do, I guess. I don't know, but I did it November 23rd of last year. Then we have the Poinsettia, poinsettia, is that how you say, how do you say that? Poinsettia. I did this one off stream. Now I painted this last year, but this I did a few days ago. Um, <coughs> I kind of like how the pen drawing turned out. I definitely drew it in pencil first, though, because I'm too chicken to try to go straight with pen. And then... We got a blank page, so we gotta figure out what to put there. We got our page of roses. Don't know what to do with that. And we've got our star apple that we did... I don't even remember when we did this one. I'm gonna have to look through my thoughts. You know sometime between October and now. And then here's our indigo, which we did November 24th. And then I think that's it for this notebook, for this sketchbook. Yep. Mm. 
And I've got some ideas for the jar, but I don't know if they've already been put in there, so... <clears throat> I'm just going to put them in there anyways. <clears throat> um... Hold on. I've got it already. Do I have the... I may not have the... Um, what do they call it? The Primatech on here. I don't think I do. Hmm. I need to find... Sorry. The Primatech colors. Stay. Found it. I think it would be kind of cool to do some of these um, colors, like to find out where they're from. Oops. Drawn on mugs. Like hematite. Because it's, you know, it's an actual stone, and when I go to paint it, I can paint it with the hematite uh, watercolor. Boop. Doop -a -doo. I already need more of these? Gracious. Mm -hmm. Why am I? Don't know what I'm doing. And I don't have all of these colors like actual. Well, I have them in like a dot card. Except for Pymon. Pymontite? Pym Pymontite? I don't know how to say that. Pymontite, Hematite, Violet. I don't have. I don't have Sicker Light. I don't have Black Tourmaline. And I don't have regular Tiger Eye. And I don't have Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. But I have like a little dot chart for all the rest of them. So that might be kind of fun, especially the um, some of these rocks that I don't know much about, like zoethite. Mm -hmm. And if anyone's got some um, suggestions to add to the jar, please let me know. I almost just dumped all of these empty ones into the jar. I wasn't thinking. Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, which one did I just write? Crap. Oh, hematite. Hematite was what I wrote. I wrote hematite. How about I not put them in the jar already? Okay. <coughs> Green... Appetite. Serpentine. Jadeite. Ah, height, not if. Diopside. Fuchsite? <coughs> Stop trying to put an H there. Amazonite? Okay. 
Kingsman. Green turquoise. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Now, I don't own Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. I don't have it even in little dot cards because it's the most expensive paint that um, Daniel Smith sells. Uh, this one can be Mayan Blue. Blue. Appetite. Lapis, which that one could be fun to find out all the like where it all came from. Um, Lapis Sodalite, another card, please. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Okay, Sodalite. I'm going to go down this way. Zoocyte. <coughs> Yavapai. Bronzite. Bloodstone. Tiger Eye. Kyanite. I, I never know how to say this one. It looks like sugar light. Sugar light. Ow, my ball. Um, might have even spelled that wrong. Amethyst. I don't necessarily, well, do I want to do hematite violet? Where did hematite? Mm, nah. Pymontite. Rhodonite. Did I already put fuchsite? Maybe red fuchsite is different than... This fuchsite. Let's try it. Worst case scenario, I take it out. <coughs> Can everyone hear me? <coughs> Let me rephrase. Can anyone hear me? I just want to make sure my microphone's working. You know what? I will do hematite violet. Or did I already write it on here? Shit. Did that, did that, did that. I need hematite burnt scarlet. <laughs> Minnesota. Minnesota something or other. I'll have to find what that actually is. Uh, Sedona. Garnet. Mummy bauxite, which I've already started doing some research on, because it is fascinating. They actually used ground-up mummies in medicine. Ew. 
burnt bronzite <coughs> burnt tiger eye and I already did hematite oh did I do thicker light Thicker light and black tourmaline. Okay. Choppy, 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 put them in the gut. I need to check something. Um, whoop, whoop. Let's try that. That might work. Mm -hmm. To get all these cut up, I'm gonna. I'll show you what I've been doing on my iPad when I'm not streaming to kind of like I don't know prep. I guess you could say for this stuff, like to prep for stream. Oh my goodness. Look at our jar of possibilities! Because I feel like just shaking them doesn't really actually mix them up. Okay. So. Let me get my iPad. find it. Hold on. Hmm. 
There we go. All right. <coughs> so, yeah, this is the research research I did on the poinsettia. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, the definition and the uh, material or the scientific name. That's the sketch that I worked off of for the pen image. And then there's my painting. Mummy bauxite, I've started looking into <coughs> what it actually is and what they, how they made it. Originally it was made from ground up pieces of mummies. No joke, no lie. The, um, it looks like rusted iron. They've, obviously they're doing it synthetic now. It's not, they don't still use pieces of mummies. The mineral's name comes from Le Beau in southern France, where it was first identified in the 19th century. Um, uh, and I've done more research, and it actually, yeah, they actually had a lot of, like, medicinal things that used bits of mummy. Oh, yeah, this is the... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. This is from the Journal of Art and Society. Hold on a second, I got a cough. Okay, sorry about that. So, this is the scientific paper I found in the journal. And, um, Mommy Brown was a remarkable pigment that had its origins in ancient Europe and became popular in European painting. To many people, surprise, shock, or even disgust, it's exactly what its name implied. A rich brown pigment made primarily from the flesh of mummies. <laughs> um. They, <laughs> by the 16th century, despite legal restrictions, exporting mummies from Egypt to Europe to be ground up to use as medicine was big business. I was a flourishing trade in human flesh. Ooh. Um. <coughs> Many foreigners, English, Spanish, French, German, and others, began to trade in mummies, exporting complete bodies or packages of fragmented tissue <coughs> Ew, from Cairo and Alexandria. Uh, no sooner was it credited that mummy constituted an article of value and practice of medicine than many spectators embarked in the trade. The tombs were sacked, and as many mummies as could be obtained were broken into pieces for the purposes of sale. Um, professionals, locals, visitors uh, would dig up any mummy they could find. Um, and one merchant... went and visited the pits in 1586 and says they have a uh, written account. Um, <clears throat> sorry, hold on one second. Um, says we were let down by ropes as into a well with wax candles burning in our hands and so walked upon the bodies of all sorts and sizes. They gave no noisome smell at all. I broke off all the parts of the bodies to see how the flesh was turned to drudge and brought home diverse heads, hands, arms, and feet. For a shoe, we brought only 600 pounds for the turkey company in pieces and brought into England in the Hercules together with a whole body. They were lapped in above in a hundred double of cloth, which rotting and peeling off, you may see the skin, flesh, fingers, and nails firm, altered black. One little hand I brought into England to shoe and presented it to my brother who gave the same to a doctor in Oxford. Gross. Um, they, a mummies actually became like an attraction. Like you would, you could go to a house like up and in the parlor they would be having these un, what do they call them? Unrollings? Where they would have a party and take off all the wrappings of a mummy. Um, ow, 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 ow. 
sorry, got something in my eye. Uh, they also ground it up and used it for medicine. It was well into the 18th century, mummy, either the head, heart, fat, skin, or bones, was still being enthusiastically prescribed as ail for ailments as diverse as coagulated blood, pungent pains of the spleen, coughs, inflammation of the body, obstruction of the menses and other uterine infections, consolidating wounds, difficult labors, hysteric, hys hysteric affections, withering and contraction of joints, easing of pains, contractions, hardness of citruses, the pits left by measles, all sorts of fluxes, catara, dysentery, lyentery, which is diarrhea with unadjusted food, gross, contractions of the limbs, disease of the head, and particularly for epilepsy. Like for real? That's what they, that's what they're doing? Gross. Gross. Um, now, not all of these unrollings were legit. Um, because they started to run out of mummy parts. Um, they started to, there were shady dealers who would start obtaining bodies in an unscrupulous ways and um, would embalm them the same way a mummy would be and then selling them as if they were an old mummy. Now the paint stopped being... What did I do that it stopped? Uh, it was like the early 1900s before it stopped being used Um, it, it really was. Hi, print. Psst, psst. You want to buy some mummy parts? Um, okay, here, this is a good story. Okay, so, um, so this person telling the story um, was a relative of Rupyard, no, Rudyard Kipling. Um, Rudyard Kipling was this, Rudyard Kipling was this lady's nephew. So Georgina, Georgina, blah, 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 blah. Georgina was married to Edward Byrne Jones, which apparently was a raffle, he was a ref. Raphaelite. I don't know how to say that, but whatever. He was an artist. Um, and he used mummy bauxite quite a bit. Um, in her biography of her husband, she recalls a particularly fateful turning point. The artist Lawrence Alma Tadema and his family were visiting the Burn Joes for, Sunday, for lunch on Sunday. A day which she says was remembered by all of us as the day of the funeral of a tube of mummy paint. We were sitting together after lunch, the men talking about different colors that they had used, when Mr. Tadema startled us by saying that he had lately been invited to go and see a mummy that was in his color man's workshop before it was ground down into paint. Edward scouted, scornfully rejected, the idea of the pigment having anything to do with a mummy. He said the name must only be borrowed to describe a particular shade of brown. But when assured that it was actually a compound of real money, real mummy, he left us at once, hastened to the studio, and returning with the only tube he had, insisted on our giving it decent burial there and then. So a hole was bored in the green grass at our feet, and we all watched. Oh, we all, all watched it put in safely, and the spot was marked by one of the girls planting a daisy root above it. Uh, here's how he described. Here's how Rudyard Kipling described. The mummy episode some decades later. He, Burn Jones, descended in broad daylight with a tube of mummy brown in his hand, saying he had discovered it was made of dead pharaohs and we must bury it accordingly. So we all went out and helped, according to the rites of Mizraim and Memphis. I hope, and to this day, I could drive a spade within a foot of where that tube lies. That's a fun story. Somewhere between raw umbers nearly green brown and burnt umbers ready tone. Hey, Emma. 
So that's the info that I found on Mummy Box site. We're not. I'm not ready to make a pay, uh, entry of that yet. But that's what I've kind of been doing to figure out how I want to set these up. <coughs> so shall we? Wait, printmaker, did I show you my poinsettia? I don't know if I did. I did not. Ta-da! I made this painting last year. But this is my entry for Poinsettia. Look, I made an ink drawing. Ink. Did I show you the squid? I think I showed you the squid. Emma, did I show you the squid? It's love. Oh, this? Oh, thanks. Appreciate you. You love the squid? Oh! Emma hasn't seen the squid. Squid! Excuse me, I burped a bar as well. Here is the common squid. Um, Lili... Ligo vulgaris and all of his parts. He's got actually ten limbs, not eight like an octopus. He has eight legs, or well, eight arms, and then two big tentacles that he uses as his like main tools. So yeah, there's the squid. Now, did I show you the sunflower? I don't know if I showed you the sunflower. So, here's the sunflower painting that I did last year. And here's the sunflower entry. That shows the parts of a sunflower. And, like, the inside. Yeah. Did I look up... What is name? Oh. Oh yeah, this is fun. <coughs> so, legend has it that Clytie, an ancient Greek nymph, was madly in love with the god of the sun, Apollo. A god of the sun, Apollo. The latter didn't feel the same way, however, and eventually left her for Lakothia. I don't know if I'm saying these right, so just have faith. Um, Clytie couldn't bear the deception and resorted to telling Orchimus, the father of Lincothia. Enraged, Orchimus buried his daughter alive. Clytie felt victorious, believing that the death of Lincothia would come her great reward, Apollo's love. This was not to be, however, as, his, as her behavior only caused him to shun her further. A depressed Clytie lay on the rocks, gazing up toward the sun, neglecting to eat or drink in her despair. By the ninth day, she had transformed into a sunflower, she faced the sun constantly as a result, allowing her to be in the presence of Apollo for eternity. That's where I put it. Helenus Anus. Why don't turkeys accept party invites? They're always in a foul mood. Agreed. Um, so I think that's all the those are all the ones that I've done recently that maybe ha y'all haven't seen. Squid. Don't know what I'm gonna do there. Don't know what I'm gonna do there. These are roses. Star apple. Indigo. Okay. Are we ready to draw from the jar? Now remember, this is a, if I'm like not feeling in the mood for it, I'm totally going to draw again. Just saying. Mm. 
three of them, right? Yeah, yeah sure, I'll throw three. Okay, dragonflies. Mm. I don't know what rutile is. So I might need to look up, look up what that is. I don't even know where I got it from. <clears throat> uh, or garnet. Oops, sorry. So I think I'm going to say no to dragonflies because I want to do actual research on them. I don't remember what rutile is. Probably look that up first. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rutile is a mineral. Okay, I probably saw it and thought it looked cool. I vote drag. Never mind. I, I know you want dragonflies, but I really want to do some actual, like, research on You know what I could do? Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh... We're going to make a page that is similar to this poinsettia one, and mm, this one, duplicate, let's go, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Yay. all right. Get rid of that. Um, get rid of... Come on, meow. Bleep. And... Mm. Okay. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Mm-mm. Now... Uh, I think I want to do... Maybe a dark purple for the dragonfly page. Make it bigger. Yay! Okay. So, this way I know that this is what, like, when I go to research later, I can be like, oh yeah, I wanted to look up dragonflies. I also put in here, like, these are the Primatech watercolors that um, the ones that are highlighted are ones that I already have the tube of. The ones with the square around it are um, the ones that I really want. And I did the same thing with Daniel Smith. I mean, these are Daniel Smith, I'm sorry. With the extra fine watercolor. Uh, what I did do though is I did put big blocks over the ones that I don't need. At least I think I don't need them. Like, I don't think I need nickel titanate, titanate yellow or quinothalone yellow. I don't know what that is. But, like, I don't need cobalt blue violet. I don't need imperial purple. I don't need veriditor blue. Veriditor. Don't need 
ultramarine turquoise, deep sap green, olive green, hooker's green, permanent green light. <clears throat> I don't need like Joseph Z's grays or McCracken black. And then I do want to, at some point, I'm going to take my, the Copic markers that I have and I want to figure out which ones I've got and fill in this chart so that um, I can keep track of which ones I already have so that I don't accidentally buy more than I need to. And that's it. Okay. So. It's either Rutile or Garnet. Let's see what Rutile looks like. Meh. Oh. Okay, hold on. Let's turn on my display capture. Okay. So let's look at the Wait, I gotta make this bigger. Sorry. There we go. Yeah. Look at the pictures. Oh, wow. That's the picture that I was looking at when I was thinking of doing this. What do you guys think? This guy or uh, Garnet? Either would be interesting. Well, I actually have garnet paint. Like paint that has garnet in it. So if you're like, save garnet for January, that's the first time. Oh, yeah. And January is not that far away. Rutile it is. Yes? No? Or I could do garnet for January, even though January is next month, so that it's ready for all of my January friends. Let's see if I can find a pretty garnet first. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I gotta find a... I want to find a more natural looking one. Uh... Um... That's a garnet? That thing's huge. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yep. 
So what about this one? Nope, 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 no. Okay, so that's a natural one. That's too natural for me. No, don't want Jack Daniels, my goodness. Stop it with the ads. What do you guys think of this one? I think it's really pretty. Let's um, pop it in a new tab. Do do do. Um. Okay. So now let's go to Mindat. Dot org. Yes. Search for a Garnet. The Garnet Group. Oh my god, they have 13,000 pictures. Uh, Alright, well here's the information about it. Ooh, we have a... We have a formula name. That's exciting. this down a little bit. I want to make sure you can see the whole thing. Oh, there. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm not putting the crystal structure, but it is really cool that it has it. Uh. Come on. My mouse just stopped working. There we go. Um. Okay. Let's find a picture of a garnet. Da -da -da. Um. Where go? Dun, 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 oh, okay, hold on. We gotta do it a different way. Uh, let's try this. It blocked the other one. Whoa. <coughs> <coughs> What was the other pictures that I found already? That one. Which I've got here. I, I still feel like this is the best picture I've seen so far. <laughs> yep. Unless someone knows of a better one and can send it to me. I'm gonna go with this one. So, put that guy over there. I guess I shouldn't leave the screen up, should I? Display capture. Because then you can't see what I'm doing. Sorry. Move the can away. Alright, and I think. Garnet is going to be the whole two pages. Yeah.
I'm going to rough it in. the painting of the garnet here or should I do painting of the garlic garlic garnet here now I'll just do it here this is gonna be <clears throat> Will be where we put like the begin. What was some of that? Where is my mouse? Some of that like info stuff. The formula. Um. What is it? Um, named after uh, Why are you being this way? Weird. Find out where it's where it's from. And uses. That uh, not all that's gonna fit over here. Um okay. What else do we want? Mm. Hmm. Thinking I want to put the garnet itself here instead. go okay so what do we want to put in this area Put the the raw stone here, like the one that we saw, like looks like fire. And then I could try to draw a, a garnet ring or garnet pair of earrings. Garnet is not a single material, but describes a group of several several closely related minerals. Garnets come in a variety of colors and have many different varieties. However, the most widely known. Oops, hold on. Why? Is, My chat is here. Hold on. Whoa. Um, the most widely known color of garnet gemstones is dark red. When the term garnet is used, it's usually con connotative of the dark red form. Other 
color guarded they're usually given more descriptive gemstone turns terms thanks Brent. thank you print um print can you copy and paste that into discord so that i don't lose it pretty please i have the best mods so i could put the raw like draw the raw stone here and then this could be an example of what it's like a pair of earrings or a piece of jewelry that has that specifically highlights garnets and then over here I'm sure there's other information we can find out about garnets like I'm sure there's got to be there's something shady about all minerals and gemstones. We gotta find... We'll figure out what the... The shady secret is. Later. What? I do. Okay. So... I'm gonna... Sorry. Now I'm gonna edit over here. Sorry, I keep having to go back and forth. But I don't want you to have to look at all the other boring stuff. Like, no one cares about that stuff at the bottom. There. Alright. Okay. Let's attempt this. I know this isn't the true raw stone because the raw stone would be like it would be a lot more gritty but I think it's pretty don't knock over by soda this back up. There we go. Now I can see my chat. I think that's right.
Okay. This is going to be a pain in the butt to paint. It reminds me of, like, rock candy, a little bit. <coughs> it is really pretty. <coughs> it's a really pretty sample specimen sample whatever hey, it's pretty rock uh. how are you doing today print i'm sorry i wasn't polite i didn't ask how you were hanging in there if you're having a wonderful day, if you're having a poopy day. I'm sorry, I'm rude. Why you gotta be so rude? No worries, most of the day was sleep day. Oh, I had to go up and go to the dentist. Ugh, that's no fun. I had the impression take for my implant for it. Oof! When is that happening? If I may be so bold. before the end of the year. Oof. So within 30 days. I might be able to eat steak. Can you not eat steak now? Oh. I hope that I wish that for you. That you could have a stake in the new year. Yep. I can't remember what color my garnet actually, like my garnet paint is. That garnet's dark. <coughs> that is brown. Maybe we won't use the actual garnet paint. Because if it's that dark, and this is definitely not dark brown. Executive decision. We're not going to use the garnet paint for the garnet. <laughs> so I wonder if that Daniel Smith garnet is actually like garnet something something. Like, mixed with garnet gin? I don't know. Hold on. Dan, yo, smia. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> so you're trying to awkwardly type it. Only because I am awkward in general. Uh,. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna... Let's just do this. Let's just do this. It's made from ground garnet. Does it say why it's so dark? Hmm. 
Mm, I haven't used this in a long time, so I don't know where my liner is. There it is. Oh, what? Where? I thought you were right here. Whoa. Okay. Found it! Garnet Genuine Watercolor has all the warmth and allure of January Birthstone. This primate color is a gorgeous, warm, reddish orange, similar to the hue Quinacridone Burnt Scarlet. That's the one I can use to paint it. Uh, but with more granular texture. Try mixing it with cerulean blue for beautiful mauves and grays. Reticulates wonderfully and creates unexpected surprises and washes. Bet you anything without light shining through its crystalline magic matrix, blah, blah, the color dulls. I bet you're right. I'll bet you're right. Okay, hold on. Where's the. <clears throat> there it is. Okay. So, Print, I know that you have um, dabbled in the arts for a little bit longer than I have. If at any point you want to throw out a suggestion like, Hey, Artsy, you know, if you could try doing it with this brush instead, I will not be offended. Hint, hint, twink, twink, nudge, nudge. Come on. Open now! Thank you. Did that not... Oh, good. Alright. Are you gonna open? Or are you just gonna click at me? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Print. But I am... One of those weirdos that's always like, I can learn something from anyone. Also known as a teacher. Ew. Gross. Get off me. Okay. <clears throat> Let's add some masking fluid. <clears throat> and try not to spill it everywhere. Because that's what I tend to do. Oh. Thank you. But how do you get the yellow gunk off the bottom, or do you just not worry about the yellow gunk? Like, because it separates. Ignore it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's hard. It's hard for me to ignore things like that. It is there. Can be a lot of waste with masking. Yeah. I do have a masking fluid pen that is kind of helpful. But I find that this is more precise. Despite its, you know, drawbacks. Never had the pens work well. They hate me. Yeah, yeah. I can never get it to come out of the... the the body of it the right way. Okay, so we got
comes around here, and then it does this kind of thing. Okay, so we got that one. And then I need to get this situation happening. Uh, I'm not sure I understand how I drew that. Oh, okay. Hold on. Go get your tea! Why must you hate me? anything that I'm doing. <laughs> Just stabbing the computer. That's all. Hey, Sab Arts. Thank you. S Sab's Arts. Thank you. We're trying to draw this garnet here. Well, no, I take that back. We're trying to paint this garnet. But I am having some... I'm struggling a bit with my masking fluid. How are you? How did you find us? I don't recognize your name, but I could just be um, a forgetful person. Alright, we'll see if I can do this thing better. Alright, let's try it again. So, this thing goes this way. Just saw you under art live streams. Sweet! That's exciting. Well, welcome in. Hi, I'm Artsy. I am a variety art streamer, I guess. Um, but I am a elementary art teacher by day. And then I do this. At night. I'm trying to I've been trying to teach myself how to do how to paint with watercolor for about two years now. Um I'm still learning. Um and recently I mean you can see my work some of my work down here. But recently I have been doing um kind of studies in scientific field notes. You teach kids and draw too? Sweet! What do you teach them? Do you teach them the art? Mm. Come on. Come on! So I've started doing some scientific field notes, kind of illustration type thingies. Math and English mainly. I respect that. What age level? Grades one through eight. Yikes. That's a range. Mm. So 
what kind of art do you do? You said you, you draw, right? If you, my links are open, so if you want to share an Instagram or something, you are more than welcome to. Uh, i got to clean this off. So one downside of using these lining pens for masking fluid is if you don't clean them off, they right away when you're done, they will just become a solid mess that you can't clean. There we go. But my paintbrushes are not ruined. Yay! Instagram is. Wait a minute. Do I follow you already? Oh, please. There. Uh. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, wait. Do the smart thing. I can highlight it. Oh. And I can come over here and I can paste it. And find it. I do not follow you yet. Hold on. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Let me begin. Oh my gosh. You're really good with portraits. I suck at portraits. <gasps> Harry Potter. <laughs> Yeah, I am... My portraiture sucks. Whoa! What is this little guy? I try. Well, you succeed. Uh, let's see. What else you got? Ooh, she looks pretty cool. Oh my, that's dark. Are some some of these are digital, right? Yeah. Wow. You should post more stuff. Oh no, I wanted to see the fi what did I do? Did I break the fishy? I like the fishy. Like the fish egg. Nicely done. Um, go back one. Do you, um, hey, Buation, do you tend to, um, I know I see you use graphite and you use, um, digital, but what? Do you ever, do you paint any of yours? Like, use actual, like, actual paint? Aren't they, though? Aren't they pretty? Okay, follow! Ta-da! All the love. Landscape was painted. Is that a um, acrylic? Yes, acrylic. That's really pretty. I really like that. So yeah, everybody, go uh, go give Miss or I'm assuming it's Miss. If if you're um. Your pronouns are something different, please tell me. Go follow Sabrine's art to see the pretty pictures. Thank you for sharing. Let's go back to our <coughs> Garnet. Darn it, Garnet. It's Miss? Okay. Go. Cool. B, how are you? 
Enjoy your lurk, Ms. Print. Uh, are you going to paint this one? Yes. I just put on the masking fluid. And I think it's dry. So, you're welcome. I like to share the arts with other people's. Because, honestly, I, I, I don't know anybody who's got all the answers. And <coughs> I figure we might as well, you know, show each other. Good that you're tired, but had fun working on some emotes. <gasps> yes. Emotes. I have to remember how much you charge me for an emote. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, thank you, Sabar. Blah, blah, blah. Try again. Thank you, Savzarts, for the follow. Um, maybe I should go to bed before one. Mm, maybe. I should too. Let's make that a goal today. We'll both go to bed before one. Um, DM me later, because. Now aren't there like a ton more slots open and now we have animated ones and... <sighs> Look, I switched to non-caffeinated. To start. To start. Er what? Cords and cables drive me insane. Okay. Still need to learn how to animate. Okay, but you do know how to do the the amazing jickety emotes. Look at this messy palette. Oof. What's your Instagram? My Instagram is artsy.jickety. I think if you put exclamation point social, all of my stuff comes up. Oh, wait. There it is, right down there. <laughs> At the bottom, next to the, the the shield. I have Clip Studio Paint, so excited to see if I can do one. Oh, nice! There you go. That's how you, that's how you do the thing. That's how we do the thing. This is why I have amazing mods, because I can't remember anything. My, my best advice for any streamer, get you some amazing mods. They'll make you look good no matter what kind of dumb things you do. And that's me then. Oh. I keep seeing this um, meme or thing. It's like TikTok or Reels or whatever. That's like I mean, being an adult, like, you are unsupervised, like, all the time. I, that's part of my problem. I think it's just I'm unsupervised. All the time. If you ask my sister, yeah. I have to go university thesis calls. Good luck to you. Or power. Hmm. But thanks for coming by. Thanks for the follow. I'll see you, at, I will see you later. Or at least we we'll hope to. Bye! Oof. <laughs> Bye! Awesome. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Now, this color scheme. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe we can start with some, uh, Queen Coral. See where that gets us? But that right there, that's like light orange. I may have to get out the, um, M-grams.
because I have more oranges. Or, I, mean, I guess I could try to mix them. I would say mix them. showed off a few that I don't think you may have seen earlier. I don't know if you're interested. But I don't know if... Did I, did I show you the poinsettia? Poinsettia, poinsettia. How do you say that? How's it supposed to be said? You've got some... Oh, you guys can't see my palette. Hold on. There you go. That's it. Put it on top of your paint. You did? Okay. Good. Um, did, you, did you see the squid? I'm pretty proud of the squid. Oh my god. Hello, raiders. <laughs> Kirk, thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> Hold, please. Holding. Hmm, I have a feeling Buation may have known that was going to happen. Kirk, how are you? What were you up to tonight? Can I please get a shout out for the one, the only, Kirk Shannon? Pretty please. <laughs> oh, hey, Arthur. Hey, B. Long time no see. <laughs> Very welcome. I hope the week is treating you well. School sucks, but that's okay, because I'm here, and I get to paint. Yay. What were you drawing today? You were drawing... <coughs> Artist Showcase. Describe... Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm... I'm so over my feral children right now that I... Mm, I'm just done. I'm just done. I'm done. We just came back from a break. Oh, thanks for the follow, Zara. Was doing artist showcase. Drew a skull and a snick. Love it. We're drawing some, uh, or painting, I should say. We're trying painting some gar garnet. I keep trying to say garlic. Um. Kirk, you know that my links are open. Feel free to share whatever you would like. Whether it be Instagram, YouTube, whatever, just your socials, I do not care. You can share them all. We would love to see them. Because I'm going to share mine. Um, because, well, I want to. So lately, I have been doing scientific drawing. Scientific um, illustrations? Scientific field notes? I guess you can call them. So, here's a little, um, entry for bismuth, and, hold on, Let's see if you can see the, the shine on that. Ooh. So that's what, uh, a piece of actual bismuth looks like. And this explains what it is, it's a chemical element, um, ooh. <laughs> Groovy, thanks so much. Here's my latest thing. Thank you. I will show you off and just actually, I think I can do it with one hand. Let's look at Kirk's stuff real quick. Oh, shoot. The thing moved. <gasps> oh. Kirk. That's nice. Wrong window. Gosh darn it. Uh, traditional, wait, oh, you did it in digital, ah, I like it, everyone go follow Kirk, just, just do the thing, 
do the thing because he's amaze balls. Just um, your life will be better for it. Well, let's do it. Uh, I gotta find my garnet again. There's my garnet. Uh, ba -dee -ba -dee 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 -dee. back. Oh, I gotta get caught up. Uh, uh, that is cool. Amazing. Thought you were saying business, like for work. No, I'm sorry, bismuth. It's a bismuth. Hold on, we're gonna beep beep. There we go. Uh, I did it once in traditional. Ow. Uh, but it wasn't keen on it. I got you. Okay, so I did bismuth, which is used in cosmetics, and it just also happens to be in bismuth vanadate yellow. Um. It's artsy dot chickadees, right over there on the down there at the bottom. Um, here's a, just a random Swiss shard. I painted it last year. Here's my entry for common sunflower cosmetics paint. Yeah. So here is this is my entry for the sunflower. And I've got like all the parts of the sunflower, a little bit of the, um, the, uh, Greek myth about how it was, why it was named, like where it came from. Um, and this is an actual sunflower painting that I did some point earlier this year. Couldn't tell you when. You're like, thank you, B. And then we've got, hold on, next. I did a squid. I'm really liking my squid. He's about to, what? Why are you doing this? Stop it. So this is my squid. And, you know, I've got the description, his coloring. These are all the parts of squid. The, uh, scientific name. And this was like just a short little, like I just wanted to do a fast, small one. And he's got his little mantle. He's so cute. Uh, that's just a random painting. Doesn't, nothing, nothing big. But then we get into my poinsettia. I painted this last year. And this is the uh, <coughs> notes page. I gotta figure out what I want to call these things because I'm sounding like an idiot when I, <laughs> I felt like, I don't know what it is. I just write words about it. Pen sketch of an actual poinsettia. Fun fact, poinsettias keep their color so long because the red tissues are modified leaves, not flowers. Um, where it comes from, why it has the name poinsettia, the scientific name, and then the painting that I did last year. Uh, random roses. Lovely spot. Thank you, B. This was like one of the first big ones I did. This is a star apple. <coughs> Excuse me. And I drew... A star apple is basically... Um, it looks... It kind of acts like a... Um, like an apple. But it's mostly in Central America. So I painted it here. This is watercolor. This is kind of what the tree looks like. <laughs> sort of. Um, the scientific name, what does a star apple taste like? So questions, the rose, oh, thank you. This is, um, I did this in colored pencil, which is like one of my first attempts at real colored pencil. So I think I did okay. Where it's from, this is the seeds breakdown of all the pieces and then the wax leaves they're lovely don't remember having one as a kid a star apple um they were observed being grown in peru wait b are you from central america did i miss something i ate mostly mangoes B, where are you from? No! 
Wow, really? I did not know that. So, I don't remember what language do they speak in El Salvador. Is it Spanish or Portuguese? Spanish? So, I'm guessing you're fluent in Spanish? The whole new world has been opened up to me. I had no idea. See? Si. Mi español es muy mal. <laughs> Uh, but I try. So here's the star apple. Oh no, you you have no accent whatsoever. <laughs> uh, I understand way more than I can speak. I can't remember vocabulary, but if I see it, I can translate it. So this is the indigo entry. Oh, where indigo is from, the brief history. Um, it was considered blue gold because it was used as a trading commodity. Um, it became very important because of the denim that came out. This is a shibori example. This is the plant that indigo comes from. And um, this is how you actually would make indigo naturally. Like the like actual original indigo. Blue gold, yeah. Because it was so expensive. Um, because what you have to do is you have to soak the leaves of the plant <coughs> in water to let it release its glucose. Allow it to ferment with other plant enzymes for several days let the product from this fermentation process dry in the air so you let it all dry out then you let it oxidize then it coagulates into this blue mess you combine it with alkaline and press it into a cake and then you can take that hardened dried cake and grind it into a fine powder to use in the dyeing process. So many steps. <clears throat> so many steps. But their leaves are not actually blue. They're purple. Oh, thanks for the follow, Cyber Red. I'm just gonna say Cyber Red. Welcome. Um, and then we're working on Garnet now. And for those of you who... I, I don't remember if I said this. So forgive me if I already did, but... um. I am, obviously, my name is Artsy. I am an elementary art teacher by day. And then I'm trying to teach myself watercolor through Twitch for the last two and a half years. So, learning about how colors were made is pretty cool. I am so weirdly fascinated by it. Like, there are colors that I didn't hadn't heard of until I started painting. And then I was like, wait, what is this? Why is it called that? What? Like, um, right now I'm kind of doing a deep dive on mummy, mummy bauxite, which is a, a deep reddish brown. It almost looks like rust and how it got its name and why, why it has its name. Yeah. The history of colors, like I'm finding it really, really fascinating. Like I knew that zinc white not zinc white. No, lead white was poisonous and that it was made with a very um, unpleasant process. Hmm, dead people. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently they would like they would harvest tombs for mummies. And they wouldn't just put it in their paint. They use it as a medicinal thing. Cow poop, yep. I didn't read the cow poop. I definitely read about the camel urine. So I don't know which one the cow poop is. 
I know, B. <laughs> it's like, uh. Mm. I have a whole spread planned out for Mummy Boxite. I just haven't gotten there. Because I'm still doing research. Research? What? Research for a stream? Maybe I got the poop wrong. I, maybe you got the poop wrong. Maybe you got the poop right. I couldn't tell you. What did I just do here? That's not what we want. I do want to find my music. Because I need to favorite this song. Yeah. Because I like it. Um. Nope. Nope. Guys, what did I do? I think I broke it. Oh, thank you for the host! But wait, medicinal ground up people? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, they would grind it up for medicinal properties. For everything, for, it would be used to treat everything from, like, menstrual issues to epilepsy. It was... A snake oil salesman thing. And then when they started running out of mummy bits, shady people would actually, like, obtain bodies and they would do the embalming process on the bodies so that the parts would do the thing that would normally happen with a body that had been embalmed and then they would take the bits and they would process it as if they it was a mummy am I making myself clear without being too disgusting it's wild wild um and I'm not gonna lie, I was a little, uh, a little grossed out by it. Oh, that's a bright red. I didn't want that. Just thin yourself out, friend. Thin yourself out. Yes, you're good. Yes, that's why. Because <laughs> I was reading about it earlier and I was like, this might be a little heavy for some people because it's kind of... I mean... It's a little much. But... Um, I don't know. I find it fascinating. Um, and so I'm planning on doing res research on more paint colors and where they come from, um, et cetera, et cetera. It's still fascinating. It is! And... The fact that, like, what I'm still trying to wrap my brain around is that somebody had to experiment enough with this whatever. Maybe it's a mineral, maybe it's <laughs> bits of mummy. Um, but they had to experiment with it enough to be like, oh, here's how we're going to make this into something we can paint with. Like, what? Like, to make white, they had to put it, they put um, lead in between, like in sheets. Um, I think it was in between, I can't remember what exactly it was in between. It was in between, it was like sandwiched between two other things. And then put in a jar, a dark jar, and covered in acid. And then left to whatever for like a month. And then the resulting crap that was left was white flakes. They let the white flakes dry. And then they would grind them up and put them into a binder to become paint. Who thinks that like, hey, maybe if we put this in this with this and this and let it sit, we'll get paint. Who? That's that's no that's next level. 
like cause I just and then for it to become an accepted practice like oh you want white okay this is what you have to do like who who gave out that info <clears throat> And how did they find out? I, I just... I don't know. And there's rumor that... Napoleon passed away because he was slowly poisoned by his wallpaper. What? <coughs> because his wallpaper was green! And green was often made with poisonous chemicals, including arsenic. So he may have inhaled arsenic fumes? Does that sound right? Zara, you seem to know a lot about this. Are you also a fellow? What is it? Would that be a, a colorophile? A fan of colors? And if any time I say something, I talk about something and someone, and you're like, wait a minute, no, that's not correct. Feel free to correct me. Nicely, please. Because I'm not, I'm not too proud if I, because I make mistakes all the time. I learned it in our modern magic. <laughs> <laughs> so you are just also intrigued and fascinated as well, correct? Brown paint all over our modern. I have managed to paint my finger. Good job. Oh. Hey, look at that. What? You stream as well? This is very interesting. Wanted to learn all about watercolor pigments. You and I need to have like long conversations over a cup of tea. Because <laughs> I need to know all the things. I want to know all the things. Wow. Yep, 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 yep. Will you be my friend? <laughs> I want to know more. You just gotta know more. Alright, what color do I want to use there? I want it to be like a... I'm gonna have to get out the browns. Wait. Yay! Thanks, B. Yep. We're gonna... This might be cheating a little, but... Whatever. <laughs> Brown. <laughs> oh shoot, what was that color that they said that it was like? Quinacridone burnt. Sienna. Speaking of poop, poops. Quinacridone burnt sienna. This color was what garnet looks like. Nice sticker. Oh, thanks. That's how I tell the difference between my. My, uh, um, my neutral palette and my uh, color palette, because I am a large child. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Thanks for the follow, Rocky. Welcome in. Brilliant. And, you know. <laughs> Again, I'm just a large child. That teaches children. And right now I'm teaching feral children. Because they done lost their minds. Alright, I'm not sure what color this is going to... Well, I can give it a whirl. Ooh, it's a dark purple. Uh... 
Okay. I don't actually know what color this is. So... But it mixed nicely with that brown. Um, do I have deep scarlet in here? Yes, I do. So let's try a little deep scarlet. Maybe right in here. <coughs> To the... That is like a really specific looking orange. What did I just knock over? Mm. 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 <laughs> or already friends, you could just go down the rabbit hole of colors on YouTube. Um... In living color, yes. Dr. Otto Kano, I love her. Him, her, him, them? Them. I think it's them. Well cut fine art, I have not looked at yet. Um, could one of my mods please, like, copy pasta that into my Discord, like, into the mod channel so that I can look all those up later? Ugh. Yeah, I actually was a Patreon of Dr. Otto for a couple months. I couldn't, I couldn't continue it. Well, cut does oils. Okay. Um, I couldn't continue it just because I was, was getting a, I, I had a whole bunch of other, like, whole lot of other subscriptions. Thank you, B. Uh, so I kind of had to back off on some things. But I did order her um there, sorry. I ordered their dot card of all of the um Primacolors. Primatech. Primatech. Um which is what we just looked at earlier tonight. Because I was able to make this chart with those cards. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit my microphone. I do think I'm gonna need just to maybe break out the engram. Because I don't know if I'm able to make that orange. Well, maybe I can use some new gambouge. Let's try it. Which ones, which of her paints did you get? Okay, alright, alright, maybe. Maybe we're getting there. All the color charts. It's a little... It's kind of bad because it makes you want to collect all the colors. Yeah, maybe. And she's got just her variety. Like... Yeah, 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 I gotcha. Because um, she's got... She doesn't just have Daniel Smith. She's got... Some Schminky and some Holbein and some. Core? Don't lie. Lie about what? I wouldn't lie. I tell no lies. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's. It's, um. It's a struggle. Like, they're. I have to remind myself they're not Pokemon. You don't collect them all. But I wanna. I think this new Gamboge is working. Yeah, I... Now, I ran out of my... I ran out of Daniel Smith's French Ultramarine. And printmaker, 
printmaker suggested that instead of me buying another tube of Daniel Smith, that I should try out Schminky's Ultramarine Finest um, to see if I like it any better, because she loves it. She loves it more than more than words can say. Um, and so I've got a tube of it coming in sometime this week. Things I should stop doing. Buying myself things before Christmas. Guilty. I do it every year. I'm such I'm so bad. Cause then people are like, damn it! <laughs> Can't buy that if you already bought it for yourself. Okay, I gotta know if there's truly a difference. Yeah. From what I understand, the Ultramarine Finest, and print, if you're still lurking around, let me know if I'm telling the... if I'm saying the right thing. Um, the Ultramarine Finest has a gradation. Every day is Christmas. You know, has more gradation, but I think it might be finer. Like, the, par the particles are finer. But I don't know. I'm sure... You know what you should... Um, you know, in all your spare time, I'm sure you have plenty of it. See if Otto did a um, comparison of the two. If she hasn't, when mine comes in, I will. Because I need to know. I gotta remember this is the first layer, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, I'm sure she did a full-on 8 brand comparison. Yeah, good point. Good point. To the YouTubes! Oh, I forgot that was purple. Yikes. I got set to be red. Let's try the deep scarlet again. Do, 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 do. There we go. So, Zara, how long. Am I saying that right, by the way? Is it Zara? If not, please correct me. Um. How long have you been painting with watercolor? You may have said it, and I just don't remember. I think it's so personal. I mean, like, you can make paints work for you for the most part. That's true. It's like Sarah, but with a Z, so Zara. Got it. Not Zara, Zara. Got it. Thank you. Which is your favorite paper to use? Um, Arches Cold Press. Personally. What's this? This is. Now, a runner-up, I actually like these little 4x6 um, blocks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that scared me. They fell on the floor. It scared the crap out of me. Ah. I have like six of these so that I can have um, multiple going at once. I learned from Anna Mason. I like hyper-realistic florals. B! Help! Put that in my... Please put that in Discord too so I can look her up. 
because I need I need to be get I need to get better at my florals. I need to get better at all of it. I need to learn all of it, all the things. So yours is hot press. Okay. That's probably the ease to make the hyper realism easier, I guess. B, I love you. Thank you. Gravity. It's the law. Love the cold press too now used to use only hot press. Yeah, the details you'll want hot press. D good point. Um B, what did I what did I end up sending you? I can't remember if I sent you any paint. Okay, did I just send you paper? I mean, just send you paint? I couldn't remember if I sent you paper, too. my question. I don't know if you did. How long have you been painting in with watercolor? It depends on what style of painting you're going to do. Cold press works better for me with watercolor pouring. Watercolor pouring? Tougher paper for scrubbing? What are these things that you speak of? What is watercolor pouring? Oh my gosh. Learning all the things tonight, kids. Learning all the things. Mm. Here. Big paintbrush. Yes, are you do you stream? I didn't realize YouTube has all the things. Good point. I didn't realize that you stream. Do you still stream? Didn't know you were. I live under a rock. Do so you get it? Rock. Ah. <laughs> mm. They don't let me out of my cage much. I started and then we decided to move and life got busy. Got it. Oh, you meant on Farley? Is it Farley Creates? You've always had the same. Have you always had the same screen name? Twitch name? <laughs> so I'm wondering if we've met before and I just um, forgot. She may be teaching at the moment. And also life, yeah. <laughs> B, I feel like you know everybody. Is this true? Are these statements true? 
see who works on Instagram. Ah. What does Farley teach? I had ZJM at, um, first started watching on Twitch. Okay, I don't recognize that name, but that doesn't mean squat. I didn't know she taught. Yeah, I... Again, B knows, like, everybody. Oh. That's cool. A kindred spirit. I feel like my garden is going to be lots and lots and lots of layers. So many people I have bad memory of names. I do too. Like, I'm... Hmm. So I teach 500 students, give or take. I'm really bad with names. She was excited sharing her about her new journey on Discord. Well, but it's been a while. Oh, I want to teach Arlene. Enjoy. Actually, I take that back. I liked teaching art online. No one else liked teaching online, but. I liked it. I was the weirdo. Granted, it wasn't a choice for us to be online. We just were... online. Yay, pandemic. briefly for streaming. Oh, I just don't know how I'll get there. Create courses like animation. Um, I just taught small children. To do like the, like, like the, who is it? Is it Billy Shoal? I don't think I'm saying the name right. Her level of YouTube like tutorials, I, I don't think I'll ever get there. But they have like a film crew, so I have to remember that. Think that's harder teaching kids? Eh. You have to lower your expectations. Like. Maybe not lower. Change them. It can't be like, oh, I want you to make this beautiful piece of art. It's more, I want you to enjoy creating. And I'm going to show you some ways that you can create with what you have at home. Considering you don't have much of anything. I just messed up. <laughs> oh well. Because that was it. Like, that was the big problem that our kids didn't have any paper at home. Um, and I mean, I sent home paper, but it didn't always get used for art. Like, it would get used for, they would just draw because they were bored out of their gourds. I don't blame them. But then we had to get creative and it's like, okay, well, where can you find paper? Yeah. You know, we would draw on the back of, uh, they would draw on the back of junk mail. I showed them how to draw on the computer. 
Um, yeah. We also did, um... Okay, B. We did a, a huge uh, cardboard construction project. Because I figured they were all getting... You know, cardboard box... Cardboard was not exactly difficult to find during the pandemic. I know that we're not over with the pandemic yet, but we're, we're back in school. Um, so... What if I just... Mm, I think I made it messed up. This should be brighter. Uh, so... I don't forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Sorry! Amazon delivery boxes about... Yes. And even if they weren't getting things from Amazon, like, you can go to... Aldi and get free boxes. Um, stuff like that. So, and they came up with some really pretty cool ideas. Um, like one kid made a uh, a refrigerator, but inside the refrigerator was actually it was more like a locker. She called it a refrigerator, though, but it was a locker where she kept all of her art stuff. Baby geniuses. Yeah. Now those baby geniuses are now on my nerves in person. And I want to... They're driving me bananas. But... Smart little shits. I will give them that. Oh, yeah. They are... <sighs> they did not remember how to interact with people their age. Or with adults that weren't their parents. So... They are rude, they're mouthy, they're mean to each other. Um, and I just don't have time for it. Yeah, it's... Mm. When you have to spend the entire day, like, redirecting kids, like, stop being a jerk. Stop being mean. Yeah. And the, the crazy thing is, these are the same kids that I had before the pandemic started. And they were my cute, sweet little babies. They ain't so cute no more. And I'm irritated like them. Irritated as shit with them. It's like, what the hell? What, what the hell? Why are you acting like this? You were my sweet kids. What did you do? What happened to you? Yeah. It's just, it, it's, it's, it's going to be a, a rough year and we'll make it through and we, we, we might all still be teachers at the end of it we might not I'm too far in to do anything else so <laughs> I'll, st I'll stick with it Hire a samurai. oh goodness hello raiders Welcome! I just got really confused for a second because there was another Z name in the, in the chat. Hello! Zara, how are you? Thank you for the raid. What were you up to? Please feel free to share Insta links. Um, one of my mods, my mods are away for the second, but when they come back, they will give you a lovely shout out. Um, for those of you who may not know me, hi, I'm Artsy. I am an elementary art teacher by day and uh, I'm uh, trying to teach myself watercolor watercolor <coughs> Zara and Zara oh my gosh they are that's funny that's funny it's a small world after all I'm guessing you two know each other 
maybe? Yeah, I think we've run into each other at least once before. Welcome. Thank you for the follow, Lauren... Lorita? Lorita? Am I being too fancy with that? Or is it Lorita? Lorita. Um, what am I doing? This one. <coughs> it's getting there, right? Like, it's close-ish, maybe? Yep, through stream, we've seen each other. I do watch a lot. Nice. Uh, I was knitting this time. Usually I paint stuff, but I had a paid knitting thing I needed to start working work on. Oh, cool. What is the paid... What is the knitting thing of or for? Or... <laughs> Hello! Um, for anybody who's wondering, I am doing a scientific illustration ish um, of garnet. That's what this is right here. Right there. A bunny with a giant head and feet for a little girl. Aww. That sounds precious. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Hold on. Stop it. Where's my binder clip? Mm. That sounds super sweet. Uh, okay. Let's see if that works. Uh, this is the only one I made, not the one I was working on tonight. Sweet. Um, do do. I'll go look at that in just a moment. Let me. Get some of this deeper shadows in here. Ah! Hold on. Hold on. I'll be right there. Where'd my mouse go? Doop, doop, doop. Mousy. Uh. Oh my god! Ah, so cute. Hmm. Aw, thanks for sharing. That's super cute. That is super super cute. Um, if you want to share your uh, socials, please feel free. My links are open. Viewation, are you hanging out still? Do I have print? I don't know, do I have a mod? Who's available? Please. Probably not. Uh, okay. Hold on. Uh, oh! Thank you, Print. You don't update often? That's okay. I'm terrible about updating my socials. I feel like I need a darker... Maybe Lunar Violet would be nice. Let's try some Lunar Violet, shall we? That'll give it a little more granulation in there, too. Okay. Fingers crossed that this doesn't look like butt. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Print. How's your tea? More importantly, how's the how's Point? Is he doing well? Lovely tea, side point is good. Painting with wine. Wine? Is that alcohol abuse? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
And he has a couple of mods now? Okay, that's good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to ever leave him in the lurch. It's mulled holiday wine. No big loss. Oh, okay. Hey, I drew a picture of that. Um, I'll wait till Buation comes back because. She inspired the drawing. This was last year, I think. OBKB. Do your thing. Hmm. I feel like this is be brighter. So does that. to make this I don't know quite how to make it brighter I gotta think I don't want to use any sort of gouache or white you found cake yay Okay, Buation. I'm gonna show off my mulled wine. Wah! Stay. This is my mulled wine that I made last year. Never finished it, but you know. Whatever. I am a chaos monster. Uh. Procreate? No. Maybe it's in there there. Nope. <laughs> oh, so much so much build up for so much of nothing. Procreate. I drew it in Procreate. I'm a ding dong. Okay, so the. Where am I? Uh, I'm gonna turn off everything but my. I'm gonna turn on the reference photo. So this is the reference photo I used of some mulled wine. B, do you remember this? 
and now I'm going to add in the color blocking. Um, I think the background color, yeah, background color. Yeah, it was last December. And now I'm going to take away the reference image. And it's not, I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible. <laughs> My first try. I just need to make it more solid. <laughs> I need to make it more solid. I like the cinnamon sticks. Those I think I did okay on. But the rest of them I just need to harder. How about thanks? Boop. Boop. Leave it like this? I don't know. Maybe. It's a little bit more um, sketchy. Is that what I'm looking for? Not quite as detailed to refine, but I like it. Then I have <laughs> here's okay. <laughs> so this is my dog. My dog looks scared to death. Which my dog's a ding dong head. It's not that I prefer hyper-realism, hyper I just don't I don't know how to do it, so I was practicing. Yeah, this is this is my boy Max. Uh, don't worry, he knows he's adorable. He's an old man. Um, but I, I drew him. Uh, so, hold on. This is... <laughs> There's, I, I imported his photo and I took me out of it. All right. Super derp. Super derp. And then this ended up being a lot more cartoon-like. But I kind of like it. <laughs> he's, um, he's a bit derp. Which is sexually accurate. Thanks. Yeah, that's my dork. That's my that's my Max. I don't know if I did any other things. Oh, <laughs> yes, I do. Um, I made an avocado <laughs> with my reference photo. I don't know what why, but it's an avocado from Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, let me see. No, those aren't mine. I tried making Christmas balls. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, so now they're just three floating balls. Um, I don't even know what I was doing. I'm trying to actually, no, I know what I was doing. I was trying to make emotes. But then I saw bees, and I was like, wow, bees are really cool. Here's the background. Um. There's my first attempt at mulled wine. When I was trying to just freehand draw it. I think that's... And then I gave up. Hello, Zara. Welcome back. It's a pretty background. Oh, the... Hold on. Which one? The... This one? I kind of dig it. I don't know what I use it for, but I got it. I think that's all my Procreate adventures, except for, like, this, where I... I couldn't tell you what I was doing. I... No idea. 
Oh, that's right. I tried a whole bunch of stuff. Like. Alright. I tried. Writing M. Graham. I like the chalk drawing like effect when it's between each other. Yeah. I tried writing M. I tried writing D, which I don't even know what. There's a D. Uh, I tried writing D. D. Smith. By hand. Then I decided I didn't really like my handwriting. <laughs> so, here I played with just all sorts of different brushes. I don't know what I was doing. I like the chalk drawing like effect on um, what is PNG? The drink, the mold one. Hold on. Let me see what you're talking about. This one? Okay, how do I move you? Damn it. There. You like the drawing like effect when it's a PNG on the black back. Is that what you mean? Oh, cool. Alright, thanks. Yeah, it's, um... Shoot, I don't even know. I think I just chose a blue. And I wanted it to be... Like, if I were using a... Uh, what is the name of that that pencil that... It's light blue, but it, it doesn't... You can't photocopy it. Like... Is it no photo, no photo blue? I don't remember. But there's, a, is it no photo blue? Sweet. I remembered a thing. Yay. When I remember a thing, it makes me so happy. All right. Um, I think I'm happy with this for now. It needs to dry completely. Oh, thank you. It's also copy not NP blue, depending on the... Oh, okay. Wait, copy... Or, no, okay. I think I need to let it... I need to step away from it. Like, that's, that's for sure. Because otherwise I'm going to sit here and I'm going to fuss with it until I screw it all up. Which is par for the course. Um, and it is almost 11 o'clock. And I have to teach tomorrow. Yay. So, I think, I think we need to find somebody to read. a little late. I mean... <laughs> oh, do I need to change that? Viewation, can you... I, I ask you a lot. I love my mods. Can you put Can you put a note in the Discord and I will make a new um, command? I can make one that says Insta and I can also make one that says IG. So we'll have IG, YT, and... Discord. Or website. Um, how do you want to do the website? Should I just put web? Maybe? You can just add it to the same. Yep, I'll give you a reminder. Thanks. Um, I should probably add them to my overlay. Like the commands. That might be a good idea. You know, all these things that would be nice for me to do. Let's see, I've got stream elements and Roz fighting over it. 
Mm -hmm. Um, excuse me, mouse. Where the fart are you? I have lost my mouse. Cursor. Okay, there's a cursor. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, alright, hold on. We're going to turn this off for a second. And then... We'll find somebody to raid. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, ba -doom, ba -doom. boom, 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 boom. It's making me log in. There we go. Buation, it is always nice having you here. Thank you for hanging out with me. Modding for me. You know, I'm kind of curious. Wait, hold on. Okay, we got some choices. We've got Point, who is painting with wine. We've got Elise, who is trying to animate a Christmas puppy gif. Um, we've got Foxtail, who is customizing a nutcracker. I don't know what she means by that. Uh, let's see what we'll do. Let's see what else I got. Um. <laughs> uh, Peg Leg Standoff is doing what looks like a graphite drawing of a really cool looking hand thing. So is Stasic. But he's doing a frog, maybe? I can't tell. I can't tell yet. So, what do you guys want to... Where do you want to go? I mean, I'm kind of curious about this wine painting. Have a great night. Sleep well. Your crystal study looks great. Thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. You gotta remember to check out Anna Mason Art on Insta for hyper-realistic paintings. Um, I think one of my mods put that in Discord for me to look at later. I thank you. Your stream, pick one. I'm thinking we're gonna go see Point. Because I'm curious about this wine action. And I know he'll understand if I have to be like, Hey, how's it going? Okay, bye. Bitch. He knows I love him, but that's how it got to be. So, with that, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Thank you so much for the raids. Um, Kirk, thank you. Zara, thank you. Zara, thank you. Um, yeah. I think I got a good start going. I'm excited about it. Um, I will probably... I'm hoping to be back on Monday. Hopefully, I don't get a headache. We're going to hold, just fingers crossed. Um, and maybe if I get bored this weekend, maybe I'll stream a little bit, but I haven't decided yet. So, yeah. Thanks for everything, guys. And um, have a wonderful evening. Or day. Morning. Whatever it is. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, I need to do that print. Probably need to come up with a schedule first. All right. See you later. Have a good one. Bye. Let's go see Prince. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, 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 doop. Let's go get him. Doop, doop. Doop, 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 doop.
Hey, Zara, how you doing?